It was a miracle the six-month-old baby survived. A split second was all it took for the pram to slip from a Melbourne mother's hands onto the tracks and into the path of an incoming train. The baby somehow managed to escape with just uh, a cut to the forehead, we've been told. I looked under the train and there was a young boy already under there um, unstrapping the baby. It really was a miracle. He looked fine. Um, he had a, quite a big bump on the side of his head. Too many near misses like this have seen safety requirements for prams and strollers overhauled. One of the things that you'll find on all strollers these days is the wrist tether strap. That's actually mandatory. Very important that you just keep it on your wrist so that the stroller can't roll away if you stop, if you get distracted, if you answer your mobile phone. With dozens on the market, Choice has put them through rigorous tests so parents don't have to. Tom Godfrey from Choice. Just because a pram is expensive doesn't mean it's going to be a better pram or stroller. To test durability, each stroller was put on a rolling road for 64 hours at a speed of 5 kilometres an hour. Not all went the distance. Choice chief tester, Chris Barnes. On this four-wheel configuration, we found that the front wheels got really wobbly. Um, we, we actually were afraid that the thing was going to break off. Uh, at one stage, so the, uh, the stroller could just fall down, um, child could possibly get hurt. At the very least, it's going to be extremely inconvenient. One of the key safety features to look for is a sturdy brake. Brakes are really essential. You've got to, they've got to be there, they've got to be marked red. That's actually a, a, a requirement of the regulation, uh, just so they're obvious to remind you to use them. I'd be a little bit worried that over time that handle might break. Also, check there are no sharp edges or spokes small hands can get caught in. Kale Barton's little finger was severed in the hinge of a McLaren Techno XT stroller. My husband was opening it and Kale went to sit in the seat and his finger got caught in the hinge and it actually amputated the top of his right pinky finger. It's something that plays over in my mind quite a lot. It was an awful, awful day. At least 17 children in the US have also had fingers cut off in the McLaren. The model is still sold in Australia. Mum Gloria can't understand why. You can't be careful enough that, you know, you can't always trust manufacturers to do the right thing by you and by your kids. You really have to do your own research and, and be super careful because it's, you're the one that has to look after your, your kids. In the choice test, no stroller or pram ticked every box for safety and durability. The two that came close, mountain buggy and steel craft. These strollers tend to be middle of the road when it comes to pricing, but they're performing well across all the safety requirements that we look at. I wouldn't be so blinded by something being expensive or something being a known brand.